morning guys i'm going on i'm going to the gym <laughs> what am i saying i'm going to the gym i'm gonna do a workout um i haven't really been in the gym lately because i injured my back so i've taken some time off from the gym but i'm back at it today i'm starting a new fit plan it's called the bikini body challenge i'm gonna try that out see if i like it i think it's a little bit more cardio focused like more lighter weights more reps more about toning so i think i'll like that better just because i felt like i was getting kind of bulky with the heavy lifting i was doing and i can't really lift very heavy right now because my back is like I think I have a herniated disc. That's another story. But anyway, come to the gym with me. Follow me along my day. Um, I didn't really film an intro. Maybe I'll film one later, but probably not. So today, my sister's coming. She has been here for work and she extended her vacation so she can spend the week with me. I'm gonna go on a hike later. I have to film some stuff for this brand. I'm gonna do that today or tomorrow. And I ordered my outfits for Basil, so I'm super excited about that. Can't wait till they come in the mail. I did expedited shipping, so they should be here in the next couple days. My couch is coming soon, and also my wardrobe is coming. So busy week for me. It's great, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna hit the gym. First, I started out with some cardio on an incline. Then I took some pictures for the gram. I've been focusing mostly on cardio because of my injury. That's why I'm also spending a lot of my time stretching. These are some great stretches for your glutes, hamstrings, and hip flexors to really open them up. Mine have been so tight recently, so I've spent like 30 minutes stretching just to make sure that they feel loose and relaxed after my workout. I also really want to work on my splits. I used to be able to do the full splits and now I can't. So I want to work on that again and just relaxing, opening up my back. This is such a good back stretch. If you guys have a hurting lower back, this is amazing. After I work out, I usually make a protein smoothie. It just helps my muscles grow. Protein is so important and I feel like I don't get enough of it in my daily meals because I don't really eat a lot of meat. I love to make this protein smoothie, so I'll show you guys what I put in it. This is the protein I use. It's vegan protein from Sprouts. It's salted caramel flavored, so it tastes delicious, but it's also gluten-free and soy-free. I've also really been into this everyday dose mushroom latte. It boosts energy, reduces stress, enhances mood, and improves your gut. Then I add a little bit of spinach, some raspberries, just a handful, a handful of blueberries frozen because it makes it cold, some unsweetened almond milk, I like the Khalifa brand. Blend it on up, baby. Blend it on up. There we go. See the color turn from pretty to ugly? <laughs> and look at that consistency. Perfect. Mmm. -hmm. Color, negative four. Taste, it's like a six and a half. It's super thick, like it's an adjustment, but I know it's good for me, so that's why I drink it. I don't know, I was thinking about dyeing my eyelashes. Guys. Anyway, I think I'm gonna dye my eyelashes because then I don't have to wear mascara as much It's just something I like to do every once in a while But I don't know because then it kind of like takes away from the blue of my eyes. I think I'm getting into it too much Yeah, we're gonna dye our eyelashes mm. All right, so this eyelash tutorial I'm using the Refectosil pure black. This is eyelash and eyebrow tint and then this is the developer. It's 3% 10 volume developer. I don't use the same one for my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I use the light brown, but I'm not doing my eyebrows today because I feel like they're still, they still have some color. You just mix it together. I do like a little squeeze of this and then you want a little bit more developer, probably like one quarter, three quarters. I'm just gonna mix it up in this little spoon. I still don't have a lot of dishes and stuff, so I have to get some, but I've been buying so much stuff. I'm just like, okay, we need to chill for a second. So this is what it looks looks like so I have like a little bit of that and then a little bit of the developer and then I usually just like take a little bit of the q-tip fuzzy part off so it's just the stick and then mix it all together with this and you want to make sure it's like super mixed up like the actual dye doesn't really mix very well so, so I usually like poke it and then it mixes together better pokey poke poke it's been a minute since I've dyed my lashes. The only thing I've really noticed is when I wear mascara, the top of my root is blonde. So when I look down, you can tell that I'm like very blonde because I don't put mascara on the top of my lash. Some people do it like that, but it will literally get all over my eyelid. I don't know how people do that. So now I'm gonna take it and just put it on my lashes like I'm putting on mascara. And you guys, you do not wanna get this in your eye because it will burn. It's not gonna blind you, but you might feel like you're going blind for a second because it really does burn. 
And that's what I'm talking about. Oh! oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do this, focus on this, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now I have it on my lashes. I look crazy, I know. This is like the worst, like clumpy mascara look ever. But we need to make sure the lashes are like fully saturated. So they are. So now we leave it on for 15 minutes and then wipe it. And then I'll go in the shower and like cleanse everything. Since I literally can't relax, like I don't think I've ever learned how to just sit down and chill. Um, I cleaned my whole apartment and just organized some of the stuff. I emptied my shoot bag, so I had all my curlers and straighteners and everything from my photo shoot. Loaded the dishwasher um, and just tidied up my apartment because I just feel like I need to maximize every second of my day. And I think it's actually OCD or some kind of disorder, but you know, I like my space to be clean. So hate me or love me, this is who I am. You know? <laughs> We're gonna wipe this off. So I'm just gonna take a cotton ball or two and just wipe it down. I'm trying not to get it in my eye. It just is inevitable, honestly. Ow. Fuck. Oh my gosh. This is why I don't ever do this on camera. Like it's so like, people are like, why would you do that? Oh, it actually makes me cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh. Ah! Mm. Ow! Oh my gosh! Okay, I have to get in the shower. This hurts so bad, but it's it's always like this, guys. This is why I literally never show it. I filmed this video trying to show you guys how to dye your own lashes probably a million times and I never posted it because it literally burns but it is what it is like I need to be transparent ow I look like the corpse bride <sighs> okay I'm getting in the shower so hopefully I'll feel better afterwards okay I'll see you guys in a second okay I'm all fresh and clean I'm so glad my eyes didn't fall out um, so now I'm using the Laneige lip mask. I love this because it keeps all of the moisture in your lips so they really can't dry out and it lasts pretty long. Now I'm going with my CeraVe moisturizer. I love this because it also traps the moisture in your face. So it's great for a drier climate. My dermatologist recommended this. It's also like hyperallergenic. Now I'm using my sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important, especially when you're in a dry climate that's hot because it doesn't feel hot, so I don't think the sun is really damaging my skin, but it actually is. Now let's do our hair. So I've been trying to get my natural curl wave back, but I did a keratin treatment. And instead of going to my hair salon stylist, I went to this stylist out of town and she kind of fried my hair. So I'm using a lot of leave-in conditioner. This is my favorite one by Living Proof. I just love their products. They smell amazing. They're very natural smelling, but they still kind of have that perfume. Like I think of Le Labo. It's that kind of scent. So I'm using their Curl Enhancer also. I really don't think um, my hair has enough curl right now to make it really work, but I'm trying it anyway. Then I just scrunch that up and leave it in and let it air dry. Now, even though I'm not doing makeup today, I'm going to brush my brows because I think when I wear no makeup, I always have to have my brows brushed because otherwise they look very unruly. And I'm just using this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. All right, so now I'm going to run some errands and then my sister's gonna pick me up for the hike. I haven't gone on a hike since I've been here, so I think it'll be fun. And my godmother is coming too, so it'll be super cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it's actually way later than I thought, so they're coming. They're on their way to pick me up. So I don't have time to run my errands, but I'm gonna go on a hike. This is my little hike outfit it's from Set Active. I think it's like, I don't know, it's like a corn color. <laughs> corn? Um, but yeah, they're picking me up to go on the hike now. So I'm just gonna throw a jacket on and some shoes and we're ready to go, baby. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is a super good place to live. The other day I, I saw them doing it. How are you guys feeling about our hot girl walk? Hot. Hot. Hot girl walk. Sweaty, sweaty girl walk. <laughs> Ruby? She's feeling about the hot girl walk. She loves it. She's sweating. <laughs> 
You guys, look at how stunning this rose bush is. Like, oh, this is the way to my heart. Oh my goodness. This is like my favorite color, these three. <laughs> we had to get we dessert. Get that's, a, that's a creme brulee cookie over there. Mm. Chocolate the chip, pumpkin cheesecake, and red velvet red brownie. Velvet. Corson, how are you feeling? Are you in a food coma? Yes, I'm in a food coma. <laughs> I'm listening to my friends play Fortnite. And I'm laying on the floor. Corson's warming her cheeks. What a mood. This is exactly how I wanted to end my day. And to all a good night. <laughs> We're breathing in gasoline over here. Gassed up, shoddy. Okay, goodbye. Today I woke up really sick. I just like, I'm congested. But today I'm decorating my Christmas tree. It came in the mail. And then I also am getting my wardrobe. So those are two big things on my list today. We're really getting the home together. Also my couch came. I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna give you guys a tour, but I need to clean up a little bit. I was so tired last night. I guess I was getting sick. I had a migraine all yesterday. Here I am, so. Okay, update. Guys, I still haven't gotten out of bed. I am not feeling well. Like, I think I need to take like a super hot shower and that will make me feel better. But I just literally feel so under the weather and blah. Mm. And then look, also I did a self tanner last night. It's totally messed up. So I have to use my self tanner remover now. Oh my gosh, it literally looks so bad. What is going on? I feel like I'm cursed today. I got my new blanket yesterday and it left little fuzzies all over me. Hot. Okay, so I'm gonna get in the shower because well, I think I should try and wipe this off first I have this like self tan remover and I was just being reckless when I was putting it on So I was just like, uh, whatever, but now I'm paying the consequences. So we're gonna take this off This is what I'm using. It's new to Canada sunless tan remover And it's just like the mousse you put on but it just like removes the tan I guess and I haven't tried it So we're gonna see how well it works. Look at how fuzzy I am. This is hilarious. I have like these little balls all over me it's not really working i'm so mad like i never i always wear my mitt and i didn't wear my mitt all the way like i was just like really i didn't even wash my hands after i did it this is so annoying look at my pinky I'm trying to just take the hottest possible shower to see if that'll help me feel better. Also, these are the products I've been using in the shower. It is getting steamy in here. I feel a little better. I was able to kind of clear out my sinuses in the shower. But anyway, we're going to get dressed because I have a Christmas tree to unwrap. All right, we're all here for the holiday cheer. This is my holiday outfit. I am Gia, honey. And then I have these rings that I got from Etsy. Ignore my spray tan. It's just not going away. Um, but I got these rings from Etsy. I'll link them down below. They're super cool. They're like asymmetrical, like irregular rings. We have a couch. It's like the Mario Bellini dupe, but it's super comfy, cozy. I hate this thing. Every time I try to get like these things that like go on my like it's like a what a lanyard for your phone No, they make me so mad because they're like dangling everywhere. I'm gonna take it off Okay, so i'm trying to do more decorations for the holidays, but I don't really have like any christmas decorations So we have to go shopping, but I also have a tree So I want to unbox it and see what it looks like because then I can kind of get the vibe of what kind of ornaments to get And other little decorations Yay Okay, look, how adorable. I still have to like fluff it out a little bit, but this is so cute and it goes with the theme of my apartment. Like it just makes it look so cozy in here. It's actually so tall also. Like it just barely sits without going over the ceiling. Oh my gosh, uh, now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. I just think like having a Christmas tree is such a nice way to decorate your apartment and make it more cozy. Like I love the holidays, I love celebrating Christmas and I've never really been the type to decorate. Like I would bring out some things that my mom had or something but as far as like having my own apartment i never really decorated so this is my first year actually decorating and i'm really excited about it i really want to go with like a simplistic minimalistic theme but i also you know i want little trinkets and stuff around the thing i don't like about holiday shopping is like packaging it up when christmas is over is like so sad but like it's so worth it
let's see what's inside of them. I don't actually know what this one is, so it's gonna be a surprise. Living Proof sent me their Dry Volume Texture Spray. That is so good, I'm so excited to try that. I'm making a reel for them. This I got some stuff for Sephora from Basil because I need powder, mascara, just the essentials, you know? I ran out of powder and I like ordered it. So I, I've been going without powder for like a week now. And it's been hard on me. This powder is so good. Laura Mercier Translucent Ultra Blur, which is different than what I usually get. And then I got my clear brow gel, which I live for. And then this came free with it. Hourglass. Let's see what this baby is. I think it's one of their intimate sets. Oh, so cute. How pretty is that? Uh i feel like someone punched me in the face okay so i realized <laughs> this is a new angle guys i cannot go get ornaments right now because i have wayfair coming to drop off my wardrobe and they're coming from 2 to 6 p.m but i can't miss it because i literally missed them the other day and it was like this whole thing so it looks like it's gonna be like a cozy night decorating i think i'm gonna watch the show elite elite it's a really good show and i think everyone on this show is literally so hot hey you guys i've been asleep for like the past three hours i had a fever but now i'm fine i'm okay so i'm gonna wear a mask i'm gonna go to target and get these ornaments because i need to decorate my tree <laughs> come along with me sorry this isn't a more entertaining vlog anyway we're gonna make it fun $60 later, we have ornaments. Look at how pretty this mall is. They decorate it with lights. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, so we just got back from Target. I got a bunch of ornaments and I just got some stuff from Amazon. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so these are the ornaments, but I think I'm just gonna use the middle ones and not the red, cause I don't really like the red. I just feel like I want white and silver. So I got two packages of those. And then I got these lights. They're just like LED lights, which I don't know. They're warm white. We'll see if these work because I want them to blend in with the tree and I don't really know how I'm going to make that happen. Okay, then I got like random ornaments. So I got like these little acorn or not acorn pine cones. I got two of those. They're just like sparkly frosted pine cones. And then I got little bells because when I was little, I found a bell like this rusted in my parents' garden and I literally thought it was from a reindeer and I kept the bell in my drawer and I would pull it out on Christmas because I was like, it's Santa's bell, like Santa's back, like this is from his reindeer. <laughs> no, I don't know, but it's just kind of sentimental for me. Right, then I got these to hang my picture frames so I can finally hang those pictures on the wall. I don't exactly know where I'm gonna hang them yet, but these things are so amazing. These are for my TV. Once I get my new TV, I'm gonna put lights on the back of it. I got some bedding. It's like a cream colored bedding, just cozy for the holidays. I need a comforter cover, duvet cover. Oh, and then I got these glasses for Basel. So basically they're like Y2K glasses. And I don't know, I just feel like they can really elevate any outfit. And I like wearing glasses during the day sometimes when I'm in Miami, because this is just like, oh my God, so cute. I'm gonna link these down below because I know you want a pair. Oh, these are so sick. You can see me seeing me. They're by that same brand that blew up with the like space looking goggles. And then I got one more pair. Oh, these are crazy, but they're gonna be so sick for Basel. Mood. Okay, let's decorate the tree because I wanna make it cozy in here. I feel like a tree is just gonna make everything cozy and it's gonna make me feel better. You know, when you have like warm light around you, there's something about it that just makes you feel like everything's gonna be okay. I'm a big fan of warm light. Not, I don't like that like super LED light stuff. Even though I know it's better for the environment. Okay, so I'm gonna rearrange the angle. You guys, it's looking so cute. I've never had my own Christmas tree. This is so cute. Okay, now these little bells I have to tie myself. Also, I don't have a skirt for my tree yet. So I have to get a skirt somewhere. I saw one at Nordstrom Rack, but it was like $40. And I'm like, do I want to spend $40 on a skirt that I'm probably gonna not be able to use? I mean, <laughs> I mean no.
before I go to bed. It's organic chai and it's just really like comforting with some milk in it. It's so nice before you go to sleep. Okay, I know it looks weird, but it's so good, I promise you. Good night, guys.